All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and this is your weekly Xur location and loot PSA. He's in the Watcher's Grave on Nessus. And the weapons he has, he's got the Suros Regime, an exotic auto rifle. Most of you probably have this already. This is getting a buff to its slow fire aspect coming in December. So if you don't have it, make sure to grab it. Maybe get some usage in with it now because it could actually be pretty good in the December update. Next up, we have the Knucklehead Radar. This has a 60 stat roll. This is an exotic that's like a C tier exotic. And honestly, this is probably the most atrocious roll I've ever seen with 21 resilience and 25 strength. It's really weird, strange roll. You don't really want high resilience on, on a hunter, but uh, that is there. I would say that's probably a terrible roll. Ashen Wake uh, is a Titan exotic gauntlet. Improves your fusion grenades. Not half bad exotic overall. There's some good applications for this. Um, the roll is pretty average though, with uh, 14 discipline, which is what you'd want the most of, but 19 resilience. Next up, we have the Apotheosis Veil. This used to like give you health when you threw your super, but now it gives you ability energy on supercast, and allies get class energy. I'm not gonna lie, I have not seen anyone use this effectively, um, but it is kind of a cool little perk and attribute that it can get with those ability stuff. Next up, we're going to go through the weapons. This is not a god roll Geon 7. You don't really want Grave Robber on a Pulse Rifle. Seven Seraph is a pretty average roll there with auto-loading snapshot. The Iklis SMG has Tap the Trigger, which is probably its uh, strongest perk. Uh, and Pulse Monitor is historically a terrible perk, but it is getting buffed in December. So I would definitely grab this roll and just let it collect some dust and we'll see how good it is in the December update. You might be laughing because Pulse Monitor has always been a terrible perk, but it's about to be a really good one. So we'll see. Main ingredient uh, with hip fire range finder, not as good as the other one he sold, but not a half bad roll overall. Truth teller with grave robber and quick draw is pretty terrible. Interference, this is a pretty terrible roll for PVE and PVP. And this is a half decent roll with this crowd pleaser. So there's that. And then in terms of armor, 58, average, below average, uh, low recovery, 60 stat, below average, cloak. And the helmet is 58 low. And the boots are actually pretty impressive for the hunter. We got 18 recovery and a 63 set overall. So definitely worth grabbing those boots. And that's a wrap for the Zer PSA. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. Smash the like button. See you in the next one. Later.